Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you seven ways that you can change your hi-hat or ride cymbal patterns when you're playing drum grooves so that you can have a variety of different sounds and make your drum groove sound more interesting even though you're playing really a lot of the same kick and snare patterns that you already know. So my name is Matt Friedland. I'm the founder of the 360 Music System. I'm a professional musician and instructor. And in this video, I'm going to break down these grooves and show you how you can simply take your basic grooves that you know, probably with eighth notes, change your rhythm patterns on your hat and or ride cymbal to kind of give you a lot more variety in your playing. So when we get started here, you know, your basic groove is really just your kick and snare, right, with eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one on the hi-hat. And that's great. We generally start there. So we have like one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And we could change the speeds up on that, and uh, we can add more stuff in between on the kick and the snare. Um, but if we change our hat pattern, we could take the same pattern, let's say it's something like this. One, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one. And we can change what the rhythm is on our hi-hat. So the first pattern would be just playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. So it gives us some more space in between um, the kick and the snare, which gives us different kind of feel and texture. So here it is with eighth notes. One, two. Here it is with the quarter notes. Eighth notes. Quarter notes. So same kick and snare pattern, but we change from eighth notes to quarter notes, which is the first rhythm that we can apply to either our hat or our ride to give us a different sound with our drum beat, even though it's the same kick and snare pattern. And we can, of course, move this to the ride cymbal. So if we got the same pattern, Okay, that's quarter notes. Okay, now there's a lot of other things we can do with our kick and snare in between quarter notes, but I'm just gonna stick to that basic pattern. So that's uh, pattern number one is quarter notes on your hi-hat or your ride. Okay, so pattern number two is when we play uh, and beats on our hi-hat or our ride. So if we're going from eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, if I play just the upbeats, one, two, three, four, one and two and three, and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, so that has a totally different feel from eighth notes. One, two, three, and four and one and two. Upbeats. Okay, so we can also open the hat off of some of those upbeats and create some ideas from there. But again, same kick snare pattern, just kick snare, kick snare, but now playing and beats with the, uh, the right hand. That's eighth notes. And then up beats. Okay, so that's pattern two is and beats with the right hand. Now pattern three would be 16th notes. This usually works for slower grooves. So if we had a slower groove out here, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, we could play sixteenths. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One e and a two e and a three and four. One e and a two e and a three. Back to eighths. One and two. Sixteens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Eighth notes. Sixteens. Quarter notes. Upbeats. 
Okay, so that same beat, kick, snare, kick, snare, I played it with four different rhythms. The eighth notes, 16th notes, uh, quarter notes, and the upbeats on the eighth notes, giving us four really different feels. Same kick and snare pattern. Now, if I was going faster, this might be pattern five. If I'm playing 16th notes, I'd alternate the hands. So if I'm playing an eighth note beat here, I can go to 16th if I alternate the hands. Okay, so that's alternating the hands with 16th. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Usually for faster tempos. So if I was coming from the eighth notes and going to the sixteenths, you know, you may want to use that, let's say, going from like a verse into like a pre-chorus or a chorus of a song because it builds the energy. So here we have one, two, three, four. I'm going to build the energy with the sixteenths. Changes the feel when we add in the 16th note. Sixteenth note. So that's the pattern with 16th. This is number five, alternating right and left at faster tempos. Now number six is if we play portions of these 16th notes. For example, just playing the one E and. So we get one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, one. I can just put the kick and snare on one, two, three, four. One E and, two E and, three E and, four. Okay, so if I'm coming from eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one, two, three to sixteenths, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Eighth notes on the ride to the sixteenth pattern. Okay, so again, that pattern is 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E and. Again, different rhythmic feel gives us a different feel in the music that we can break up just the eighth note pattern. Kick and snare pattern is still kick, snare, kick, snare. Very simple. And we could play other kick and snare patterns with that, just keeping everything basic for now. Now, number seven, the last one, is playing on the 1 and a. So we're going to get 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one. Okay, so if I'm coming from eighth notes, one, two, three, four, one, two, to the and a, uh, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, Eight. Then I'm going to go the and a. Three, four, one, and a three, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one. All right, guys, so there you have it. We've got, you know, um, our quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The upbeats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we've got sixteenths, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or slower, two, three, four. Then we've got one E and, one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, one. And then we've got the one and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one. All right, so I hope these grooves helped you get some ideas of how you can vary up your hi-hat or your ride pattern in a simple way to create more interest in your grooves using what you already know. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this video, uh, please uh, hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful. Let me know if you want to see more content like this 
for your drum grooves or anything related to music. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.